of the new phrases that um, I have learned since awakening to my soul is um, letting go of all that doesn't serve me and uh, that might sound completely selfish especially coming from a Christian background where everything was about serving God and nothing uh, nothing was considered that would serve self, that would serve me right, so I really lived a very depleted life that everything was about God and nothing was about me um, the way I would feel in my mind and in my soul and in my body um, was completely disregarded because of the way I was taught from the Bible because of the way I understood, or I should say misunderstood the Bible. Uh, everything about life was not at all about serving me. It was all about serving God. And so, the other day, um, something got triggered in me by my twin. Um, One of the things that I had to let go that no longer served me, my well-being, uh, was the um, relationship with Jesus. My twin uh, really mirrors it back to me as just a very negative energy. In fact, it's the it's the blockage um, between us. So much so that it interferes with us being able to communicate with each other in a civil, civilized and kind manner and uh, I'm grateful for this I'm grateful for this mirroring because it's it's the truth right the the smoke screen is clearing the smoke screen of religion and the smoke screen of what Jesus really is in some people or in many people in their unconscious self as they're using Jesus as a shield to protect them to protect themselves from them, their self from their true feelings and so it really really Jesus really provides a mask a facade for a lot of people um, a mask for their vulnerabilities, for their shadows. And uh, my twin is really, really showing um, her shadows. And uh, I understand uh, why, why I had to let go of Jesus. Because I was self-abandoning, I was not regarding my own feelings and what serves me as a person, as a soul, um, that would fulfill my life. I lived 35 years, almost 40 years as a Christian, with a, as an unfulfilled life, empty. Because I was giving all my energy away to this concept of God 
being someone outside of myself. Um, this concept of God being a deity that is to be worshipped. And uh, that's not the case. The essence that is my soul is what God is. The essence that is your soul is what God is. It's an essence. It's not a person. It's an essence that that um, gives movement to every everything, the essence of life. We don't worship life. We are that life. We're not trying to separate ourselves from life. We are that very life and uh, we are that very essence and so Worship really is a word that is out of place. It's a religious word and uh, it externalizes everything and it makes you neglect yourself for some phantom idea in the sky. Right? So, yeah, no more self-neglect. Um, Letting go of all things that do no longer serve my well-being. You see, if I am not in my well-being, I'm not going to be any good to anyone else. I have to live from a full place. And so the focus has to be on me, on my soul, on my spirit. Um, that it has abundant expression of wellness so that I can be a, a positive um, asset to other people. If I am depleted, I have nothing to give to the world around me. But if I am full, to overflowing and there is enough for me and there is enough for others and it serves others so it's an oxymoron when we say um, letting go of what no longer serves me all things need to serve me first so that I can be in service to others if we don't serve ourselves first, we're going to be an empty vessel and be no good to others. So it's, it's a backwards logic, but everything spiritual is backwards, isn't it? Backwards from the way things are in this world. So, what are you letting go of that no longer serves you so that you can regain your well-being?